First to five and only on NBC10, a young boy found wandering the streets of Providence alone. Tonight, that child is safe thanks to a quick-thinking store clerk. That clerk actually reopened his store and called the police. Officers were able to track down the boy's parents. Good evening, everyone. I'm Patrice Wood. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Dan Jenny. Some frantic moments today, everyone. And only on 10, NBC10's Allison Bologna talked to that clerk. She's live in the newsroom tonight at 5 o'clock. Allison? Dan, we spoke with the store owner who tells us this is not the first time they've seen this little boy before. We found out the street where the boy lived on. It's not far from where he was found, but the question is, why was he left alone and how did he get out? Approximate at 10:35, uh, uh, I was about to close my store. Late at night, alone, no shoes, barely dressed. The owner of this Providence store on his surveillance cameras says he saw this boy wandering around. He was just across the street and he was running to my store. So he stopped at the front of my door. So they opened the store, invited the boy inside and kept him safe until police arrived. They came instantly. Police came and met with the boy. Then they called for an ambulance so the boy could be evaluated at Hasbro. This is a busy road in front of your store. Yep. He could have easily yeah. been hit by a car, taken. It, it, yeah, uh, I was really surprised. Like, like it was just a two, three year old kid and unattended without parents. Providence police tell us that the boy has been reunited with his parents. They tell us he lives on Gray Street, not far from the store, and that they do understand that this has happened before. Have you ever seen this little boy before? Yeah, uh, it's happened before, like uh, three uh, days ago, too. At afternoon, uh, some lady, she was driving her car, and this uh, the same kid, he was uh, like uh, uh, walking on the road, and uh, she just grabbed the kid, and he, she bring him in my store. Police tell me the boy lives on this street, and while it's not far from the store in which he was found, there are still questions about why and how this happened. Reportedly, the father told authorities that new locks have been installed in their home, but that the boy has a history of wandering off. The store owner hopes it doesn't happen again. Like, it's ridiculous. I, I will say, like, the parents should be careful about that kid. Indeed, to be specific, it was just three days earlier to this incident in which police say this boy was found wandering alone again. Alison Bologna, NBC 10 News.